Nigeria's petroleum industry bill has missed numerous deadlines over the past few years, and every month that the bill gets delayed, the country is losing around $300 million in lost revenue from existing production sharing contracts. That's on top of the 500 million naira that the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation has already spent in readying itself for the new legislation. The country's Petroleum Resources Minister says that the bill is unlikely to pass before the end of the year, with some exports saying it'll take even longer. Uchero Komko reports. The petroleum industry bill has raised many questions and much controversy in the past years, despite being labeled the knight in shining armor that will solve the problems plaguing the oil and gas industry. This bill promises solutions in terms of revenues, operations, investment and management of the sector in the long run, including commercializing the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation and setting the scene for the implementation of the Gas Master Plan. But for the average Nigerian, the icing on the cake is that the petroleum industry bill pledges to create more than 3 million jobs in line with the Nigerian Content Development Act. This PIB is a reflection of government's aspiration to create a big industry in Nigeria, a local industry in Nigeria. And it's all complementary with the whole aspiration of government to transform the oil and gas industry in such a way that Nigerians participate more and that investments are freer to flow into the country. And once those things are happening, as you know, the Nigerian content implementation has already started creating capacity in Nigeria. So that as those big investments come in, they don't just come in for the sake of touching Nigeria and flying out. They come in to stay in Nigeria. The industry spend on an annual basis is in excess of $20 billion, out of which only two is domicile. That is colossal capital flight and no economy will develop in that, on that premise. So the premise of the PIB then is to say that Nigerians, after 50 years of commercial discovery of hydrocarbons, Nigerians must take commanding heights of this industry. And so that's why Nigerian content and the PIB are complementary because as a foreigner legislature, as a foreigner law now, the Nigerian content is showing that the PIB will even do greater things for our industry. However, industry analysts are skeptical about the passing of this bill as the House of Assembly continues to drag its feet with no clear explanation as to why it's taking so long for the government to start making these changes. It's a legislative process. The PIB is an executive bill before the legislature and Nigeria is a sovereign nation we we'll take our time, we we'll fashion out a bill that would be good for us. It was always going to take a long time. I think um, you needed uh, very, the president to push it through with the Minister, Minister of Petroleum and push it through just before the elections. I think now people are looking at it, loads of interest groups have come in, there are various different versions all um, floating around. I think it's, it's, it's hampered it a bit. But I think the, the main issue for me really is that the PIB is good in the sense of what they're trying to do. but. Most of the regulations within the PIB are already in existence. The problem in Nigeria is not really laws, it's really enforcing the laws. Mm -hmm. If we enforce the laws we have at the moment, our own industry will be a lot stronger than it is at the moment. Minister of Petroleum Resources, Alison Madweke, argues that the bill needs more time under legislative scrutiny to iron out some of the terms, such as the equity for oil and gas communities and the measurement of production levels, which has been one of the main avenues for corruption in the past. In the meantime, unemployment hovers above 30%.